July 5th, St. Anthony Zacharia, founder of the Clerks Regular of St. Paul. The early part of the 16th century, before the Council of Trent, was one of the saddest periods of the Church's history. Nevertheless, it produced some figures of outstanding sanctity and beauty, and among these, that of Anthony Zacharia is one of the noblest. He was born at Cremona in northern Italy in the Duchy of Milan in the year 1502. His father died while he was very young, but his mother made admirable compensation for that early loss, and in particular encouraged that side of her son's character which was moved to compassion by the sufferings of the poor. He was sent to the University of Padua to study medicine. When he was 22, he graduated and returned to his home to practice. Here he soon learned that his vocation was to heal souls as well well as bodies, and he began seriously to study theology. In the meantime, he continued to exercise his profession, to give spiritual help to the dying, to teach Christian doctrine to the young, and to be at the service of all. In the year 1528, he was ordained priest, and his spiritual and corporal ministry was so successful that he was encouraged to extend its possibilities by moving to the bigger city of Milan. Here, Anthony joined the Confraternity of Eternal Wisdom and met people people like-minded with himself, among them Luisa Torelli, Countess of Gastala, who, under his direction, founded the congregation of women called the Angelicals for the protection and rescue of girls who were in danger or had fallen into evil ways. These sisters were an auxiliary of the saint in all his works of mercy. In the year 1530, he decided with two other priests, the Venerable Bartholomew Ferrari and the Venerable James Morigia, to start a body of clerks regular. These were priests who were bound by rule and vows, but are neither monks nor friars. Their object should be to regenerate and revive the love of divine worship in a properly Christian way of life by frequent preaching and faithfully ministering of the sacraments. This was done with five members who preached in any place, church, or street and particularly on our Lord's passion and death for men, of which St. Anthony reminded people every Friday evening by the tolling of a bell. While Luther was attacking both the truths of the faith and the inequities of churchmen, while the people were oppressed physically by the wars which ravaged Italy and spiritually by the neglect of the clergy, this faithful band labored heroically to reform the church from within by reviving the Christian spirit and care for souls among the clergy and by ministering to the dual needs of the laity. They worked among the plague stricken in Milan and infused such vigor into the spiritual life of their city that in the year 1533 the new congregation was approved by Pope Clement VII under the name of Clerks Regular of St. Paul. The founder was its first provost general, but three years later he resigned the office to Father Morigia and went to inaugurate its work at Vincenza. Here he introduced from Milan, the custom of exposing the Blessed Sacrament for three continuous days. Thus started the practice of the 40 hours of devotion. In the last year of his life, while on a mission at Castalia, he was taken ill, and his body worn out by mortifications and unceasing work. He quickly became worse. He was carried to his mother's house in Cremona, and there died at the age of 37. He was buried in the convent of the Angelics of St. Paul, the female branch of the Barnabites in Milan. Twenty-seven years after his death, St. Anthony Zacharias' body was exhumed and found to be incorrupt. His remains are now enshrined at the Church of St. Barnabites in Milan, Italy. He is the patron saint of physicians and was canonized by Pope Leo XIII in the year 1897.